hey everybody and welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be about months three and four of me being in this locking process now I did not come to you all with a three month lock update video due to being out of the country I thought that I would be able to film it while I was in Japan but I was having too much fun plus I was extremely tired at the end of the day and I did not feel like doing a video because I just I was exhausted but I am just basically going to combine both months into this one video because a lot has actually happened between my last video and this one here now something else I wanted to talk about was henna in the hair because I also henna my hair the other day and um, that's something that I've been doing even before I started the locking process so I wanted to talk to you all about that as well so without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the things that I wanted to talk about now what I definitely noticed between my last locking video and this video my hair has grown and it's so weird because when I started with the two strand twist when I initially installed them my hair was like really 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 long like down like what bra strip length down the middle of my back so after I had two strand twisted it as you all know they shrunk up just greatly they they really really did and I was just like wow this is just this is amazing but looking at them now they definitely are a little longer compared to when I initially put the twist in not only that but I definitely can tell that some are solidifying within the buds that I have and it's it's so cool because some parts are like really squishy like how a twist feels but then as you go up the twist and you feel the bud it's actually starting to get a little bit on the harder side now another thing that has changed is beforehand I was using the locking gel that mango and lime locking gel I had to stop using that and that was because once I got back from Japan I needed to wash my hair and before I washed my hair I just really examined it and looking at it it was just it was almost like a, a grayish white kind of cast in my hair and it just it looked really really bad so I said you know what I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair so I washed my hair and it was just it was not clean at all it was just like like a lot of buildup was in my hair and even in the buds I was actually trying to burst the buds because there was so much buildup within the bud so what did I end what I ended up doing I did the um, apple cider vinegar and baking soda soak and I soaked my hair I don't know if it's for maybe 10 minutes or so and then I washed it and looked at my hair again and there was just still build up so I was just like oh no something something's got to give I said you know what I'm going to do another soak with the apple cider vinegar and baking soda but then I also added sea salt to the water and also lemon essential oils because I didn't have any lemons around to use just lemon juice so I just used a couple drops of lemon essential oil so those four things along with some warm water soak my hair in that and that actually helped with the buildup now one thing I can say though 
I do still have some build up within some of the buds. So if you all have any tips on how I can get in these buds and get this build up completely out, I would greatly appreciate it because I don't want to start this journey and I'm new into this going in already with a bunch of buildup because that stuff, it stays in your locks and I don't want that stuff to be in my locks. So there was another thing I was using as well, which um, was a mixture of distilled, distilled water, some oils, some, I think the do grow I had in there as well. And um, I'm not using that anymore. BioSelf was in there too. I'm not using that anymore, that mixture, uh, because I'm, I'm not sure if that was also helping to leave a white cast in my hair because I used that mixture while I was in Japan and um, I came back with just that great cast and it could have been from me having twisted my hair with the mango uh, lime gel or it could have been because of that mixture I was using. I'm not completely sure if is if it was because of one or even both of those items so I've cut those two items out of my regimen and basically now all I use in my hair is a shampoo when I wash my hair and um, oils and that's really it so I retwist with water oil and um, aloe vera juice. I still do use a little bit of aloe vera juice. And that's it. That's what I did this last time that I washed my hair the other day. Just use that because that was um, pretty natural. I didn't want to put too many chemicals in my hair. So that's what I did. And um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. What else do I want to talk about? Hmm. Yeah, still more budding's going on. Solidifying of some of the locks, which mine, for the most part, are, are starting where the buds are, which is towards my scalp. Another thing that I'm noticing is that at the ends of my twist here I used to have like the coil at the end and my coils are really not as coiled anymore they're starting to kind of go upwards what's what I want to say and I want to say really go upwards but I guess it is go up kind of draw up that's basically what's going on I don't have that loose coil anymore it's more compacted yeah it's more compacted and um, what else is happening with my hair I think that's pretty much it it's growing I'm definitely pleased with it it, it moves and I, I love that I keep it moisturized by um, just keeping oil on my scalp and spraying it with distilled water so nothing fancy I just want to keep it simple when I washed my hair the other day I did palm roll and I palm roll the entire lock yeah that's what I did palm roll the entire lock and I did henna my hair and with how I henna my hair I usually wash it a couple days before so that way I can allow it to air dry so I did wash my hair I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday that I washed my hair and then I put the henna in my hair on Saturday and what I like to do is put it in and let it sit in my hair overnight so that's what I did I applied that and then I wrapped my hair up in saran wrap went to bed and then Sunday morning I got up and I washed it all out 
Now henna has so many different good properties for the hair. It conditions it really, really well. It strengthens it. And also for me, because I am starting to gray and I am graying predominantly around my edges here. So with real henna, it leaves the hair with a reddish tint. And what I really truly love about henna as well is the color does not wash out. So no matter how long your hair gets, if you've henna, then that color will still remain there. It does, in my case, it does not fade. And I've been using henna for maybe a couple years now or so, maybe two years. And um, it has not faded. So when my gray begins to grow out, you can definitely tell where the last of the henna was before the gray grew out because it'll be this white strand and then red. So it's, it's definitely, definitely good. And before I had locked my hair, I had hemp my hair. So that was a good eight weeks ago that I had, I think eight or nine weeks ago. No, I'm sorry. I'm tripping y'all because I'm four months in. What am I talking about? I hinted, that'd be what, 16 weeks ago. So maybe 16, 17 weeks ago that I had hinted my hair. And then after that, that's when I installed my two strand twist. So yeah, it had been a good four months since the last time I hinted. And I can't say for sure if I got all of the henna out of my hair, but um, if there's any residue of it left when I wash my hair again then it should just come right on out but it's not damaging to the locks at all I made sure I did research of, of uh, doing henna on locks and they said it was perfectly safe the website that I came across so I went on ahead this time and did it and love the results it leaves the hair shiny leaves the hair very strong and conditioned and I highly suggest doing henna to your hair, to your locks. But remember with real henna, it does leave a reddish tint on the hair. And I think that's really all I want to talk about you guys. That's all I can think of. I probably should have written everything down that I wanted to talk about because I am tired because I'm still suffering from jet lag, which is so crazy, <laughs> really crazy. But it's a, uh, 13 hour difference from um, Indiana compared to Japan and they're 13 hours ahead of us and yeah it was really really weird coming back to the states and being awake when everyone else was asleep and oh man it was wild but I highly suggest if you all get the chance please go to Japan or if it's not Japan, just go somewhere outside of this country because that was so refreshing. It was so eye opening. And for me, it was actually life changing. And, um, yeah, I went over there to experience the country, not to, come back to the States and uh, <laughs> have a different perspective on a lot of different things, including life, including spirituality and just so much. It's so much. It's, it's just amazing. Those people and how they are and they respect one another and they respect their, their country and their religion. They take it seriously and it was just wild for me to see like seven year olds walking the street to the market and no one bothers them or the fact that you can be outside and walk down the alleyway at midnight and no one will bother you. It's just, it's craziness. It just makes me wonder what are they doing that we're not doing here in the States? It was just really, really wild. But yeah, you all, if you can, definitely travel abroad because I truly, truly feel that you will feel like a human being <laughs> going to another country. You'll just feel appreciated more. 
by visiting another country. But I'm going to shut up now because I am tired and I need to try to get some sleep. And I appreciate you all so much for tuning in and watching this video. And if God allows it, I will be back again with another update. And hopefully, too, next time I'll probably have a little bit more for you all because right now I am just like so tired and can't even probably remember everything that I wanted to talk about. So please forgive me for that. But like I said, Lord willing, next time I'll come back with more if there's more. So you all take care and thanks again for watching. Bye.